Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It is Tuesday, March the 7th, 2023, 10 o'clock in the morning, and we're here with Ezekiel chapter number 15. As we mentioned yesterday, really short chapter here, but a good truth for us to understand. Eight verses. Let's pray and we'll cover it. Father, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Bless this reading and study, even though it is short You intend for us to learn and grow from it, and we ask your help in doing that. And we do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, Ezekiel 15, verse number 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work? Or will men take a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon? Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devoureth both the ends of it and the midst of it is burned. Is it meat? for any work. And so let's stop there. We just read half the chapter. So God comes to Ezekiel and he asks him about the vine tree. So what grows on vines? Well, grapes grow on vines. Uh, So we understand that the Israelites are going to know that they are the vine being spoken of all through scripture. We know that Israel is related to the vine. Uh, It is the vine, Romans chapter 11. Uh, We think also of... uh, uh, Gentiles being grafted into the vine. Ye, ye are the vine, uh, and I am the vine. Jesus said, ye are the branches, and my father is the husbandman. So Israel is the vine tree being mentioned here. So he says, what is the vine tree more than any tree uh, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Is it any better He's asking. In other words, you know, the Gentile uh, people are doing wickedly, and you seem to be doing the same thing. You're no better than they are. And he asks in verse 3, can you take wood to do any work with it? Can you even make a pin of it to hang a vessel? So the Lord's saying, can you even use a vine, a grapevine, to make a, I don't know, a little peg to hang your coat on? And the answer to that is no. No one would use a vine tree to build anything. Vines are useless other than bearing fruit. And that's what he's getting at here. Fruit isn't even mentioned because there is no fruit in Israel. Uh, the, The vine tree that doesn't bear fruit, Jesus said, is good for nothing but to be cast into the fire. And that's what the Lord said in verse number three, four. Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel, and the ends of it and the middle of it all get devoured. So the first half of this chapter is saying, Israel, you are as useless to me as a vine that doesn't bear any fruit. I can't do any work with you. I cannot burn you. You couldn't build a house with vines. You can't uh, do anything with vines. All you can do is burn them. They're useless. And that is hard teaching. What is God saying to his people? You're useless to me. Phew. That's rough to take, isn't it? So, verse 5, Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. How much less shall it be meat yet for any work when the fire hath devoured it and it is burned? He says, you know, you were useless before I destroy Jerusalem. How much more useless are you going to be after I destroy it? Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, as the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Just as the vine is given to be burned, so are the people of Jerusalem. I'm giving them over to be burned. And I will set my face against them. They shall go out from one fire, and another fire shall devour them. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I set my face against them. And I will make the land desolate, because they have committed a trespass, saith the Lord. And so that is hard to hear, isn't it? That's some really rough teaching. When you call someone useless, you have uh, brought them all the way to the ground. All right, 
five minutes. We've never done five minutes before, I don't think, but we are done. We'll pick it up with chapter 16, as brief as chapter 15 was at only eight verses. Chapter 16 is going to be the longest chapter so far in Ezekiel with 63 verses. So uh, we will see you tomorrow, and we will be live for that one again. All of these last severals have been recorded, but uh, we'll be live with chapter number 16 tomorrow on Wednesday. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, love, and share the post. Let people know that we're out here, and I'll see you tomorrow for chapter number 16. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.